Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Three cards just fell out immediately. I gotta take them. Anyhow, this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days, okay? Now, keep in mind the timing is still fluid, and not every reading is for you. Look what just fell out. Leo. Ooh, Leo, you're in your energy, okay? You're, you're strong, but you notice that that lion looks a little sad. I, I don't know if you're sad. I'm not sure if you're sad or what is going on. Um, you may be in a state of discernment. It feels like you're discerning a situation. Um, whether you should go through a doorway or not, whether you should go through this open door or not, that's, that's probably exactly where you're at or whether you should close a door. You know, I think that you're, you're in a place where you're thinking, you're thinking about, you know, whether you should go through it or you should close it. Should you, should you go through this door? Or should you close this door? Caution tape. Beware. Beware. You know, when you get caution tape, and I think that's where you're at. I think you're at a place where you're, you know, you're like, I'm not sure if I should. Should I or shouldn't I? I feel, I feel like you're at a place where, um, you know, you're using your own uh, discernment to decide, is this, is this really where I want to be? Is this really safe for me? You know, I feel like you are taking careful consideration in regards to a certain circumstance that you're going through. Um, you may have your guard up. I feel like you do. You must have your guard up because it feels like you're in a place where you're really like unsure. You know, what, you know, what should I do about this? How should I handle this? You know, you may be even <coughs> in a little bit of a place of fear. Um, but I see that you're really, really strong. I feel like you're a force to be reckoned with. Um, you may be, uh, well, well, the way I really feel is that you're, you're, you're about to probably go through a new doorway, but you're very weary about it. Okay, you're very, very weary. Anyhow, this is, we're going to do past, present, and future, and your person, either how they feel about you or who's coming in however we'll find out here in a minute so let's get leo that one that fell out past present and future first card fell out ace of swords reverse that's in the past miscommunication no communication loss of power um five of cups three of wands reversed in the past I feel like uh, there's been some grieving or there's been some sort of, uh, maybe you have some regrets or you've been struggling, uh, struggling with moving forward. And we have the three of wands reversed. That's like wasted time, unprepared. Um, in the past though, in the past, I feel like you've been really in a place of grief. You know, the five of cups is grieving, grieving over a loss. I feel like you maybe you're afraid to give your power away. Maybe you're afraid to step forward. I, f I feel like, and maybe that's where you've been. Maybe that's where you've been. Anyway, um, future. Future, Nine of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Swords reversed, and Ten of Cups. Well, that's not future, present. I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now the future, present is Nine of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. Future, future. Seven of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Wands, and Emperor reversed. And your person, let's talk about your person. What's going on with their person, whoever's coming in or whoever is strongly in their energy? Judgment, Queen of Swords reversed, Six of Cups, and Three of Cups. I'm not sure if you have a friend here or, or somebody from your past, whether it's a friend or it's somebody that is... Uh, it feels like you got somebody here that's lying or something like that. You're deal you may be dealing with somebody that is very harsh. Very, very, very harsh. Definitely somebody from your past. Judgment and the Six of Cups. You have somebody here from your past that 
uh, it's either a friend or a past relationship that is haunting you. I'm not sure if you're dealing with somebody that is very harsh, very, very brash, Queen of Swords reversed. This person you have some sort of uh, deep soulmate connection with. Uh, I feel like there's a need to... Uh, be honest there's somebody here that isn't being honest they're not they're not being honest with themselves i feel like it's somebody that uh has delivered some sort of harsh truth very harsh extremely harsh um whoever your person is um i'm not sure if you're receiving some bad news I'm not sure if you're, because the Queen of Swords de de delivers bad news, okay? So I'm not sure if you're receiving some bad news in reversed, okay? If you're receiving some bad news about somebody from your past, um, you definitely have a past connection here that, something about a, a reconciliation, you know, and I wonder if there's somebody that is very intimidated by you that is hasn't been telling you the truth. They want to have a reconciliation with you. That's what it feels like to me. I feel like there's somebody from your past that wants to have a reconciliation with you but they're lying about it or they're not telling the truth or they're having a hard time communicating with you. Maybe they got themselves involved with a third party situation, you know, and they let that person influence them in some way. Somebody really Really, and if this isn't somebody from the past, it could be a past life connection. There's definitely a soulmate here. You may not be seeing clearly though, or they weren't seeing clearly. Somebody wasn't seeing clearly. So I do believe that you are going to be reconciling with somebody from your past. And, and I know people are gonna say, I don't want anybody from my past. This could be somebody from a past life with a judgment, judgment card. That could be a past life connection. Anyhow, I feel like in the past, in your recent past, you have had some sort of no communication or blocked communication. You've been grieving. I feel like you've been waiting. It's not coming. It hasn't come. I feel like uh, there's been a loss of, of power. Maybe somebody went no contact with you and I feel like you've been grieving over that loss. I feel like, uh, and I feel like you're, you're you're struggling you're struggling i feel like you're in a place where you were you were hoping you were hoping and praying that this person was going to communicate with you that's where you've been right you've been hoping that this person was going to give you a chance or something like that and maybe you've reached a point where you know and there has been a delay there's been a big delay in this person communicating with you or opening up to you and i feel like you've been grieving you've been grieving over this let me get another card. It feels like there's been some serious uh, delay here. Delay in receiving. Receiving uh, communication or no communication. There's been no communication. Nine of Cups. You're dealing with somebody in the Page of Pentacles that is very smug. This person appears to have it all. You know, they're focused on their business. They're focused on their job. They're focused on themselves. You're dealing with somebody that... Um, has probably embarked on some sort of new path and it feels like that's what their focus is. They're focused on their money. They're focused on their materialism. I think that you're, you've dealt with somebody in the past that is very focused on their money. They're focused, this is somebody that is very, very, very smug, probably arrogant. And I feel like you've been hoping and praying and wishing that this person would make an offer to you. And it's it's like you've been trying to manifest it, you know, and, and maybe, and, and I feel like you've really been wishing, and that's what it is, I've been wishing. I've been wishing and hoping that things would get better. And I feel like there's been some serious delay. Um, I also feel like you've been working on yourself recently. You've been work is it, working on, you know, starting new, going down a new doorway, going down a new path. You've been, you've been um, given an opportunity for wish fulfillment at the same time. It's like you have a golden opportunity. You may have been start, you may be starting new projects or. Uh, starting a new job or something like that and I feel like you're 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 in a good place but you're still grieving it's weird it's really 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 weird because I feel like you are um, broadening your horizons and you're really really happy with yourself but but there's some sort of 
lack of communication with somebody that you are, I feel like you're hoping to have a reconciliation with, however that resonates with you. Presently, I feel like um, you are in a happy place. It's interesting. You're in a very happy place. But again, there's mental turmoil with the nine of swords. I mean, the eight of swords. That's That's like playing it safe you're playing it safe you're you may not be enjoying it's interesting it's very very contradicting because we have the nine of pentacles reversed the eight of swords reversed and the ten of cups presently now the ten of cups is happiness okay it's happiness but the nine of pentacles reversed is you must take action right now you need to focus on yourself not maybe you need to focus on yourself and not a relationship some of you may be focusing on a relationship for codependent reasons, right now, right now. Maybe you need to take a time out to go within to focus on yourself. The Nine of Pentacles reversed is, you know, I, you must take action. You need to realize that they don't complete you. You complete you. You need to find your discipline. Maybe maybe you don't know if you want to be in a relationship or not. Maybe because with the Nine of Pentacles, which is a very singular energy, maybe you're, you're unsure whether you want to be in a relationship. I feel like you're in some sort of mental t turmoil and you're probably struggling with some sort of freedom, like wh whether you want to be free or whether you want to be trapped. Do you want to be trapped in a relationship or do you want to be single? What is it? What is it? What is it? So I feel like that's where, where, where your mental turmoil is right now. I feel like you're, you're definitely struggling. I feel like you're struggling with independence worth versus a relationship. Do I, do I want this relationship that I, that I'm in or do I need to focus on myself right now? So anyway, I feel like you're in a place where perhaps you, some of you may be in a relationship that you're not sure that you want to be in because it may not be as maybe the, the codependent part of having someone is fulfilling, but, but maybe you're feeling a little trapped. I feel like there's trapped here. Um, the nine, the eight of, I want to keep saying nine of swords. I've, I've tried to say it like twice. So nine of swords is stress. It's anxious. It's worried. It's extreme regrets. It's having a hard time sleeping at night. This is a little bit overwhelming. It's some sort of despair or anguish. I don't have it here, but I, I want to keep saying it. I feel like um, what you don't see coming is positive movement, by the way. You're headed towards victory. You're headed in a new direction. Um, I feel like you're, you're, you are, somebody could also be coming towards you. Some of you may also be moving. You may be traveling. I feel like you are going to take charge of your life. And I also feel like there's somebody coming towards you that is going to help you. And that's, a, that's just coming from my gut. Okay, I feel like you are um, there could be somebody that is at a distance that is coming towards you. You know, that's that's what I just got from this. There's travel or there's moving. moving towards you somebody is moving towards you but I also feel like you're in charge I also feel like you're you're in charge here you are in charge which is interesting some of you could be dealing with a cancer you could also be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn Scorpio Aries another Leo Anyhow, I feel like right now you're 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 discontent. Right now you're discontent. You're not you're not living your best life. And I have to say that because the nine of pentacles is reversed. You know, the not in your right now position. That's that's like I'm I'm not really happy. You know, I'm not really happy. But I feel like but it's interesting because it feels like you're trapped. You're trapped. You're it's like you are happy. But you're maybe not happy being, if you're single, you're not happy being single. You're, you really want a relationship. But then again, maybe you don't. You know, that's where the contradiction comes in. It's like, I do, but I don't. You know, so I feel like, 
I feel like you're you're trapped. You're trapped in this place where, you know, if you want that happily ever after, you're going to have to open up. You're going to have to give up your independence, you know? And I think that's that's part of this reading. I think that's part of this reading. If some of you are completely single, you're stuck in your thoughts. You're 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 restricting yourself. We got the 9 of pentacles reversed the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. If you are the single person watching this, you may not know your value. You may, you may not be ready. You may not be, in, you may not be feeling stable. You may, you may not be feeling um, like you're living your best life, like, you've, like you're adequate. You, you're restricting yourself. If you're single, it's like you're, you need to find that uh, ability to step outside of your comfort zone. Some of you are protecting yourself from a relationship. You know, that's what I see. That, that, that Eight of Swords is really protecting yourself. You have the a means to break free from these thoughts that you have to keep yourself protected. So some of you are protecting yourself from a relationship. You are. You're, you're, it's like you're, 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 you're holding yourself back with, because maybe you don't know your value. You don't think you're good enough or something like that. I feel like you need to release the past. Maybe you need if if you're single and you're you're single, maybe you need to start dating. Maybe you need to you need to open yourself up. Maybe you need to start socializing. Somebody from, you know, social media, on um, social media from your past could be contacting you in the future. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Scorpio or Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Anyhow, I feel like right now things are a little out of control for you. I feel like you're feeling you're feeling uh, stuck. You're feeling trapped. I feel like you're feeling trapped, or you're afraid to be trapped. There is also somebody here that doesn't know their value. Somebody could be uh, giving their energy to a person that is confining them, you know, that is trapping them. It, something about prison here as well. So I don't know if somebody's dealing with somebody in prison. This is like imprisonment. It is imprisonment. There's a need to break free. There's a need to step out of this trap. Whatever the trap is, it's in your own mind. It's like it is. There's happiness here. If, if, if you can find your discipline to break free from your own thoughts, I don't know if it's that you're not good enough or that, you know... Yeah, I think that's what it is. Anyhow, in the future, I have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Knight of Wands, and the Ki and the Emperor reversed. So I feel like there's somebody here that is very dissatisfied. They've been unrealistic. They've been controlling. They've uh, been trying to not invest, but I feel like they're about to invest. This person is about to take action. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, and maybe it's yourself, that has been trying to control, you know, extreme control. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to, this is like going overboard. Like I'm going to be hard. I'm going to, I'm going to uh, not show my emotions. I'm going to not invest in something because I have to, uh, be alone. I have to uh... Well, this is social pressure. There's somebody here that is under a lot of social pressure. They're trying to not give up their throne per se Which is very interesting Sudden departure departing. I feel like we have a sudden departure here. Could also be a sudden arrival. Chariot reverse now. King of Cups. Act 
acting on feelings, emotions all over the place. Somebody that has been guarding their heart. This is somebody who has been really trying to control their emotions too much. Like they've, they're really, they wanted to be hard. They wanted to fight their feelings. This person's emotions are really all over the place. And I feel like this person is going to take action towards you. They may, they may not be able to restrain themselves. Somebody is going to be expressing their feelings to you or they're going to be coming towards you. They have this, I feel like it's a sudden desire in their heart. They're going to be expressing their, and maybe it's you. This could be you. Maybe it's you that has been hard or has been trying to control your feelings, has been trying to master your emotions. I feel like there's this is like emotions just, you can't, it's like I can't fight this feeling. That's exactly what this is. So I feel I feel like there and maybe it's you. Maybe it's you that can't fight this feeling. I can't fight these feelings. I can't fight these feelings. And here they come. This is somebody that you have a past life connection with. I feel like there's been miscommunication or there's been a misunderstanding and it's caused you a lot of grief. And I feel like this person is very is arrogant and we all have it in us you know and that's why they've you know been been uh, holding back because they've let their ego and their pride get in the way and I feel like it's made you sad but anyhow I and I do believe there's gonna be a reconciliation I do there's gonna be a reconciliation with somebody from your past that and it could be a past life connection this is this there's somebody uh, that has been having a very hard time communicating with you and I feel like it's because when they come to you, they're going, they can't lie. They can't lie to you. They have to be honest with you. They have to be truthful with you and they know it. Ah, King of Swords. So it could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. Some sort of information, truth. Somebody is going to be speaking the truth. Whoever is going to be speaking the truth to you, it's not easy. This person is not happy about it. Okay, that they, they. It's because it's tough. It's hard. It's really hard. And it could be you that's communicating. There is somebody here that is going to be communicating some information that they have been holding back. It's because they cannot fight this feeling. Good luck. 